Hello, I am Professor Sujun Shinde from Kavir Naik College, Nasik. Today, in this video, we will discuss about how to prepare lazingness taste extract, which is commonly used, used under the name of sodium fusion test. So, to carry out the sodium fusion test, we require sodium fusion extract. So what is the significance of sodium fusion test? So sodium fusion tests are used to determine the element pre present in the organic substances. So it gives a qualitative information of organic compounds. Basically organic substances are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. But apart from these elements, nitrogen, sulfur, halogen are easily tested with the help of this sodium fusion test or lazingness test. So the test is basically conversion of elements like nitrogen, sulfur and halogen into its sodium form or sodium salts and then eventually convert them into a colored complex. So with the help of a specific color we can detect a specific element. So in a part first of preparation of lazingness extract we require a burner, a spatula, a test tube which is also known as sodium fusion test which is very small. So first we have to place a sodium metal, small amount of sodium metal in this sodium fusion tube. It is needed to note that <coughs> sodium is highly corrosive to the skin so it must be handled carefully and must be stored in organic liquids. Avoid its contact with the moisture or water. So once place a sodium into the sodium fusion tube, then we have to heat the piece of sodium in that tube until it fuses. So we have to heat the sodium until it fuses. Therefore it is known as sodium fusion tube. So in a first step, when the sodium is fused in that sodium fusion tube, then in a second part, we have to cool that tube. Then we have to add small amount of organic substance in it. Or once we add the organic substance in it, then we have to place the mixture of organic substance and fused sodium metal under the flame. So it is heated and we have to heat it until it becomes red hot. Until it becomes red hot. Few chemical reactions takes place during the heating and that may come out of the tube. So that precaution must be taken during the heating. Then in the next part, the red hot tube is transferred into a distilled water. We have to prepare a distilled water assembly before placing that test tube into that. So for that we need to take a porcelain dish and 15 to 20 ml water in that porcelain dish. So once the tubes become red hot and all the reaction completed, we transfer them into this distilled water assembly and it, the precaution should be taken while placing that red hot tube into that distilled water because it can generate a vigorous reaction and can cause damage. So before placing that tube into that distilled water, we should prepare with the lead. So as when you put any type of the, that tube into the water, immediately you should have to cover it. So that's how this hot tube is plunged into the distilled water. Then we have distilled water plus broken tube assembly. We have to crush the tube inside that porcelain dish so that all the material will be dissolved in water. Then place that porcelain dish having a broken test tube of sodium fusion test and heat it until the fume starts to come. So constant and 
long term heating is required for the proper preparation of extract then after few minutes of heating we have to filter that solution into three test tubes so that we can conduct the test of nitrogen sulfur and halogen so preparation of lysine extract is a very delicate and complex process in which we have to take care of all the things so that's how we can prepare the sodium fusion or lysine extract so that's how we filter it into three tubes and now we have three tubes having sodium fusion extract which can be used for the further detection of elements like nitrogen sulfur and halogen thank you so much